My name is Karen Nyamu, and this is my bun in the oven story. My first pregnancy, now with my daughter, I remember at that time I really, really wanted to get pregnant. I really, really wanted a child. I was anxious. So, I really wanted a baby. So, just, I could feel it, my gut feeling. I could just feel that I'm pregnant. God, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. In the pregnancy was also easy. I had a comfortable pregnancy. Na yake nilikuwa na na crave sweet sana. Na vitu za unga unga, mandazi, mkate, sijui, donuts, hizo vitu za unga unga, chapati, things and very sweet things, ice cream throughout the pregnancy. Those are the cravings I had with my daughter. Sweet things na na vitu za za unga unga. Um the my delivery process with my with my daughter, the labor was longer. I was also on epidural. They numb you from from your hips down. Although when I had to push, they had to remove the epidural because I think you don't push hard enough when you when you, when, when there's no pain. I think the pain helps you to to push. So I got epidural and anyways I could could push Vizuri. And she's now she's six years old, bubbly girl, story mingi, likes to dance, as in, she just makes me happy. I found out I was expecting um, after missing my periods for about two weeks. So I sent out a rider to get me strips, pregnancy testing strips. And um, I hear it's advisable to test the first thing in the morning. So I slept and when I woke up, I tested. And sure enough, it was a positive. I didn't know I wasn't sure how to take the news. Of course, it is good news, but at the moment I wasn't sure how to take it. But by and by, I started. It started being such an, I mean, an exciting thing when I shared it with my sisters and my friends, and they were very, very excited. And until then, that's when I started. I, it hit me that like this is actually exciting news. Um, my first trimester was okay but i had i was nauseated i felt nausea um i didn't have appetite i didn't want meat chicken i, di I didn't want to eat a lot i remember during that time we, we were on lockdown and this challenge what is it called don't rush challenge it was going on too much don't rush all over the place so i associate that song with nausea. Ata sa hizi nikisikia na sikianga ugh. Sitaka nikusikia hiyo wimbo. Because it actually I relieved that feeling ya nausea during that time. And then I didn't I didn't have any vomiting. Apart from nausea, I didn't have much issues. Apart from nausea and loss of appetite, I didn't have much issues in my first trimester. Um, apart from I just remembered I had an incident of bleeding and I had to call my doctor and um, he, he gave me a hormone. What's the name of the hormone? 
I forget. Progesterone. Progesterone. Yeah, I, I was diagnosed. I mean, I was prescribed a hormone, uh, which I had to use till the end of the first trimester to hold the baby. My craving was was um, what I really felt like eating all the time was medium rare steak. I mean, it's a steak. It's a grill, but it's a lot of dam. It's a lot of food. It's a lot of food. It's a lot of food. It's a lot of potatoes or anything. I was like, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. So I eat that with, with salad. That's what I loved. the first time I was so eager to know is it a boy or a girl at the moment I really wanted a boy um, I really wanted a boy because I already have a girl uh, so I remember uh, not being so eager to go and do the scan for the sex so that I can find out what is the sex of my baby so on this day I go to hospital and yeah it's a boy I was so excited I was very very excited and um, second trimester no incidences I mean I, I had I didn't have my pregnancy was not eventful at all for some reason it was it was an easy one no eventful I went to work till the very few I mean the very last days I was working um, uh, what, what can I remember about the second trimester? What was eventful? Um, I just remember towards the end of my pregnancy, I, I, at my last scan, when I went for my last scan, they found out that my baby is breech. Yeah, so they told me that I have to book a CS on my 37th week. And I remember I, have, I had been praying, yeah, because I talked to God a lot. I'd been talking to God and I, I told him how I want my delivery to be, how I want my labor to be short. So I knew this is not what we had. We have been agreeing with God. So I knew ah, that is just the doctor's report. We have to change this. So I googled how to make my baby change from bridge to head down. There was exercises, there was swimming, there was, I don't know you, Okay, if you kitty, see you funny nini exercises too mingi. I tried all those but I was swimming a lot. I was swimming a lot. But um now on when on, on the week that I was supposed to book a CS and I also and I also went for this massage in it was a prenatal massage. It was prenatal. You know fanya kwa ball. I went for those so they they could massage and encourage the baby to turn. When I could massage, huku, huku, because I'm totally going to stick up and make her comfortable. I was told it's called the driver's position. So when I could massage, huku chini, kumu encourage and move, a turn. When I scan your musho, I got a mtoi. First, the doctor said I could scan your mtoi, but I could breach. But when I went for the scan, the, the guy who was doing the scan, when it angwak, ow. Akaniambia mtoi ametan ni kama ametan tu sa hiyo. As in when I just took that position, baby can relax na akatan. So I was so excited that I'm calia po kwa hiyo ni ni the 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 we are sonography and sonographer na ni angalia like kwa ni ni unalia but it's because I I've just been praying say you don't have your God. I can go mtoi akatan na mtoi akatan. So I was very excited. I was very emotional. Kajua. To not push, I'm not going for CS. I was, I didn't want a CS. I was, I, I, I prefer to have a normal birth. Um, then from there, it was hospitaling. I was targeting a certain date. Nikuataka sana kuzaa November first. 
for for personal reasons na my first edd expected delivery date ilikuwa around here around first so nilikuwa nataka sana iko hiyo siku because mimi na baba mtoto tulikuwa nataka sana hiyo delivery iko hiyo siku lakini kabibika ka delay it was a few days later um i didn't get labor from home for some reason i mean i not labor my water didn't even break my last experience because i have a daughter my last experience was that water's broke when i'm in the house this time round with my second one i i i nearly look at edd so i got impatient nikajipeleka mimi mwenyewe hospitali nikadanganyana water zime break because nilisema hiyo siku lazima nitaget mtoi water zime break so wakanifanya preparation scan kila kitu wako na mtoi yako rich ni nini so the report all over was like how water is broken but she's not at laboring how water is broken but she's not at laboring so they had to induce me uh they, in, they gave me a tablet i really wanted it to be fast ni kuna mbesun patengine this one you've given me it's so slow because i went for 6 hours i, I feel nothing no pain then they're like no you can't give you two because it's going to be too intense for you like that this is how slow we take it so first tablet no event nothing my friends are coming over i was with a friend na also yeah baba mtoto uh nothing nothing is going on um and then they after they have to give another tablet after 12 hours but because i had really insisted wakani pati after 9 hours so after 9 hours it happens that um ilikuwa that was around 10 my baby daddy had to go um for for work at your time my friend has been with me for so long she had to leave and they thought it's going to be another process kama hiyo ya kwanza hawako anajua i'll actually labor so after washa enda niko peke yangu kwa your room i'm just all alone with nurses in the room labor ikaanza ikaanza kukikin but still i'm thinking ah even when i'm talking to my parents na mwambia um yeah women pati apili na feel kitu but i'm projecting nitapata mtoto around 6 am kesho ama um saa moja saa mbili at least azili ndakuwa na watu but it dawa ili work so fast haraka haraka i labored for not even one hour my labor was short nilikuwa naomba god labor yangu squared ikuwe maximum 2 hours ndio nilikuwa naomba but it, it exceeded even my expectation it, it was less than one hour nasa alikuwa ananiambia as in nasa hakuwa na haraka na, na mimi kwa sababu alikuwa expect also it will take a bit longer so anakuja ananipatia painkillers alikuwa ananipatia painkillers alikuwa in satamas i can't really remember and then it became so uh, unbearable for me nikaanza kuisha epidural so by the time wanapigia it was in Nairobi hospital na how i can get doctor to stand by wa epidural so but they have to call a doctor atoke home so by the time wana call daktari akuja nidunge epidural mara wameneka oxygen nikaanza kusikia ni kama mtu yeye anatoka first nilikuwa nimeangaliwa nikaona ni dilate 4 cm so between 4 cm and 10 cm it happened in a flash nikaanza kwa nikaambia nasi ni kama nasikia ni kama mtu yeye anatoka ana doubt so akakuja akash vile alikuja aka aka feel akaona mtoto ana actually anatoka akani rush kwa delivery room haraka haraka nika push in within no time it was such a smooth bath i remember it was such a smooth bath and also the um, the oxygen gives you another highness you know if you just it's another feel good as in i just remember getting that baby was in a nearly like cloud nine yani it felt so good such a beautiful moment even if i was alone stango hakuwa kuna mtu alikuwa ilikuwa just me and my nurses so they were like who's going to deliver who's going to pick this baby they were asking me karen who will receive this baby i'm like receive i don't see him mko hapa like your family who your family who is somebody coming to be with you who's coming to receive this baby akuna so i was 
all alone because it happened say nilikuwa nazo ilikuwa saa nane ya usiku ama saa saba na kitu towards saa nane so katika kutoka kakalia nilirudi tu sauti kakona sauti nikasikia tu poa i felt so good nikaletewa nikakaona kana kaka malaika any was i was in cloud 9 i was very happy so niko tu peke yangu nikafanya vile wanafanyanga before i had an episiotomy for those who know um wakanipeleka kwa room yangu nini nini mr kikulala wakanita sijui chai nini yani nataka tu kushinda nimekaangalia nataka tu kwa rada sitaki yani niko na usingizi nimebeat na sikia tu kulala lakini stack yani i'm too excited nataka tu kushinda nikikaangalia kupiga mapicha nini i was so happy so um the next day sister zangu my baby daddy what work i come to spend the whole day half or um wakaenda I remember they were limiting visitors so I had three my sister my friend and yeah my baby daddy um I started going to antenatal clinics when I was a month a month pregnant that is about four weeks and uh, every other time you get uh, an appointment in four weeks you get another appointment in four weeks sometimes you're told you can come in six weeks Um, I, I think it, it, antenatal clinics are important just in case because it, it just in case is an issue the doctor can detect early but I understand there are so many women who cannot afford these services I get so many women in my DM who tell me they're pregnant and they have not gone to any antenatal they don't even know the sex of the baby they don't know if the the baby is breech or the baby is is um I mean they, they haven't gone to, for any clinic so I would adv- advise mothers to go to government hospitals these days uh, pre- reproductive health is being supported by the government so just walking into any maternity hospital that is uh, being run by government go and find out the status of your baby go and find out are you okay to make it easier for you to deliver as much as possible try and take care of yourself and the child maziwa haitoki wana mpatia glucose cuz nilikuwa nimesema stack i wanted to i really really wanted to exclusively breastfeed my son nilikuwa nataka sana sana so nilikuwa nimeambia wasijaribu kumpatia formula milk kwa hosi so for that reason they were giving him they were giving him um, two teaspoons to a glucose water as they try wanakuja kunifanya nipples maziwa inatoka nini nini but they were going home cuz we were discharged in, in a day or two, in a day to go to this in a day we were discharged no we just stayed sunday and then on monday I was discharged i gave birth on saturday night i stayed on sunday whole day monday i was discharged so by the time i came home nangangan na mazoe toke i have all these things to aid me mazoe toke ni ni i was doing good mtu yeye anakani kama ana shiba then at some point mtu yake kiwa two months I had to not even two, I think just before two months I had to start working. I had there are things that needed my personal attention at work. There are some presentations I had to do out of town, Mombasa, Kisumu. And I had to go so nikaanza ku pump. Na kwa hiyo niki pump maziwa kuna kuwa na deficit bado. So mtoto wangu we had to introduce formula. And then so we were doing both then at some point pia mtoto akaanza kupata colic niki google nikisoma naona ni kama diet yangu so nikasema wacha tumie formula in the time being as i sort my milk 
it, it, I changed my diet mtu wangu acha kupata hiyo colic so but the time nafikiria maziwa yangu iko sawa mtoto asha kata kunyonya akakata bub na akakata bub hiyo kitu ni heartbreaking inauma sana for mom if you know kwa zera size mtoto wangu akilia lia lia yani unajua with my first time it was so easy na makatu kwa bub hiyo story inaisha but now you have to umweke kwa pramu mshindo kim drive around the house zera mnde kwa chini um, as in you have to this you have to employ other tactics na mimi sikia kuna kitu sana na miss i even nearly try i really tried arudia kunyonya lakini alikuwa sha reject bob if you are your mom you know how that feels it feels like you've been rejected there's something there's something missing na ujui i don't know how to compensate that bond so this is a try as much as possible kulala na yeye on my bed ama kisha fall asleep nimeweka kwa court as as long as ako is lying on on the bed nataka anga kwa bed yangu that's how i bond with him because sasa kalikata maziwa when he was about 3 months um so far kana grow to vizuri saika kona meno tumeno twili nikatoka toka tv ni kaoka toka toka ngaraka sana he likes this trying to say something he likes expressing himself akichoka kuka position atre kujinua then it's just fun i'm just enjoying being his mom and it's just a beautiful thing having having him and that's my bun in the oven story Thank you.